Hey folks, and welcome back to the creepy screen, and welcome back to my basement. I am using OBS software to record this video, so that's what you're looking at here. I am here today to demonstrate how to use the online homework system for fall 2024's classes. I am recording this from the perspective of 6243, the intermediate class. Your link to access the online homework system is on the course webpage right here. I just opened it up this morning. If you're coming to us from the longitudinal class instead, your link to your homework system is in the same place. Once you click on that link, oops, wrong thing, there you go, you will have an entry box shown like this for the 6243 class or in a different color scheme but the same idea for the other class. Your next task is to enter your last name as it is stored within Maui. So it is not case sensitive, but it is space sensitive. So that means that if you have two last names with the space in between, that's what you should enter. If you have two last names with the hyphen in between, that's what you should enter. You should also enter your eight digit Iowa ID number as found on your ID card or within your various records. I am going to use a dummy login to demonstrate this homework. So I'm gonna be person number three. There we go. Once you sign in, you'll see this landing page right here where you will have access to all homeworks that are currently available. You will also see how many points you have earned for the various class activities. And these pages I always update manually after grades are due, so it may take a day or two for your point totals to be upgraded once a homework has been finished and closed. Homework zero is what we are here to demonstrate today. It is for two points of extra credit and it is about the syllabus, so it should not be too challenging. So my homeworks have two different kinds of questions. Any data files that you need to be able to answer the questions will be linked from this spot right here. At the top of the homework, it tells you how many total points you have, and then how many points are from the two different kinds of questions, as well as the due date. So the first kind of question is what I call a computational question. These are numeric answers, and you need to enter them to the level of precision specified in the instructions. So for instance, 0.01 is commonly what I use for precision in my homeworks. The first question though doesn't require that much precision. How many regular homeworks are currently planned for this semester? I'm going to deliberately answer this incorrectly so that you can see what happens. So I put my cursor over here. Let's say I enter nine. I'm going to hit enter and then the box around it turns red. That lets you know that your answer is incorrect. The correct answer for 6243 should be six homework assignments. There we go, and it will be five for the longitudinal class. So once you have a correct answer, you will know that because it turns green and it is not editable anymore. So the system has saved it to your specific database. How many points total are these worth? In this class, I believe it is 88, 86 in the other class. There we go. How many points will you lose if you complete each homework even a minute late? It is two points, not per day, just two points period. I do accept late work, but I want folks to have some incentive to keep up with the course because it does build cumulatively. However, how many points of extra credit are you earning right now by completing this assignment? Also two. So essentially you do this to check the system so I know that everyone knows how to access it and make it work, and you get essentially a free late homework in exchange for doing so. So you can enter as many of these values at a time as you want. I'm going to hit enter to make them checked, and there we go. So that's the first kind of question, computational. The second kind of question is a results question, and these are usually interpretations of the values that have been given up above. In this case, however, I'm going to answer um, some more questions about the syllabus. So my campus office is technically on the south side, although it's located in the bridge between the north and south side. My regular office hours will be held hmm, in my basement. I will not be holding office hours in my campus office. There are many reasons for that, and I'm happy to tell you about them if you're interested. They will be held hmm, 3 to 4.30, Mondays and Wednesdays. And if no one is there, I will end early. Nope. Stay logged in. Yes. Find something to do. Yes. So I promise I will stay logged in to Zoom the entire time during office hours, even if no one is there. So you can feel free to pop in at the last minute if you need to. So here's one section. Here's another section. 
In practice, the sections are divided into a series of models or um, a sequence of steps in an analysis. This is just continuing with the same kinds of questions from before. So this time, how many points total are the formative assessments worth? In this class, I believe it is 12, and in the other class, it's 14. How many days per week are we meeting? Two. And how many class periods are we scheduled not to meet? Also two. We will have a week-long break in October when I will be traveling for a conference. There we go. So you'll note that none of these results section answers have churn, turn colors. That's because they are not checked instantaneously. To make sure that they are saved though, there is a button at the bottom of the screen called check and save your answers that you should click. So once you click this button, if you exit out of this web page, either on purpose or accidentally, your work will be stored by the system. So you can log off, come back to finish your assignment as many times as you need and you will not lose your place. Next, the last set of questions here are about software. So this class will feature Stata software, which is available for free anywhere using the virtual desktop. You cannot install it for free on your computer. You must buy a license or have one purchased for you. So the correct answer for Stata is anywhere using virtual desktop. We will also use R, which is available for free everywhere. That is the point of using R is that it is free and open source. So the correct answer to this would be both two and three. It is on the virtual desktop, although it runs very slowly there, and I would not recommend that. I would recommend installing it on your own computer instead. And last but not least, I hope that this class will not be super easy. I hope it won't be a nightmare. I do hope that it will be challenging, but in a good way. So I'm gonna hit check and save my answers. All right, so time to submit. So it lets you know once all of your computational answers are correct. If you decide you're ready to finish, hit Submit Final Answers. Once you click that, you're not done yet. Two things happen. One is that the previous drop-down questions now have their text uh, j displayed in plain view, so there's no more choices. That way you can read through your paragraph and decide if you like how it sounds. And if you go through your answers and you decide that you want to change something, there is a button for that. So if you decide to change your answers, click on go back and change something, and then your choices have become available again for all the questions. That way you can decide what you'd like to answer. All right. To submit for real, there is one more step. You need to re-enter your eight-digit Iowa ID. That way I know for sure that you intended to submit and you did not do so by accident. Here's my fake one. All right. So at the bottom of the page then, you, it tells you when the due date is. That's when you can see your, all of your feedback. For now, I'll go back to the main page here. And previously it had said homework zero, begin or continue. Now that I have submitted it for, for a final grade, I only had the choice to view my answers. And so if you click on this link before the due date, you will see the same format that you saw the last time However, if you click on it after the due date, you will see all of your feedback. And so that was the other homework I had open to show you what that would look like. So this is an example of a homework that is past the due date where all feedback is available. So in the computational questions, any incorrect answers, the last entry that you saved, will be presented in red bold italic font, followed by the correct answer in regular bold green font. So this way, even if you didn't get something correct, you can hopefully work backwards given the correct answer to figure out where you made your mistake. This also is highlighting the fact that you don't have to have all of the answers correct to submit. For the results questions, they will give the wrong answers in the red font followed by the correct answers in the green font. And the same thing will be true for the drop-down questions down here. Incorrect answers will be shown in red followed by correct answers shown in green. At the bottom, it tells you how many points towards your course grade you have earned by completing each of these activities. So for instance, I have six out of seven correct computational points, but the entire set of computational questions was only worth one point towards your final course grade. So by missing one answer, I've still earned 0.86 out of that one. So this is why if you have one or two answers that are still incorrect and you're running out of time, I would highly advise that you go ahead and submit your work, even if it's not finished, 
because the tiny fractions of points that you will lose from a few incorrect answers will likely be much less than the full two points that you would lose if you submitted it late. And it's not two points per day, it's two points period. Um, normally, I have the late points deducted in here, but for this assignment, I'm not assigning any late points. You can finish in it whatever you need to. So I have zero points deducted for finishing it after my uh, fake cases due date from a year ago. And then here's my total points. So then after a homework closes and I get a chance to check everything, the point totals that you have from whatever assignment just closed and how many are currently total possible will be shown here. So there you have it. I hope that you enjoy using the system and I hope to see everyone soon. Thanks for watching.